Hello listeners and welcome to Daily Current Affairs Updates 13 September 2022. This is your RJ Priyanka and without any further delay we begin our today's episode with our first daily update which belongs to the category of summits and conferences. Rajnath Singh visited Mongolia. Rajnath Singh met Mongolia's top leadership including President Oknagin Khurelsuk and discussed ways to deepen the two countries multifaceted strategic partnership. Defense Minister Singh was in Mongolia and Japan for a 5-day visit to strengthen India's strategic and defense ties with the two countries in the context of an evolving regional security matrix and geopolitical turmoil. Rajnath Singh's visit to Mongolia is the first ever tour to the East Asian country by an Indian defense minister. Now let's move further to our second daily update which belongs to the category of state. UP Bhartol becomes first village in state to have RO water in every household. As part of the Adarsh Gram Panchayat initiative, a village in the Bareilly district has become the first in Uttar Pradesh to have RO water in every household. The Bhartol village has up to 4 RO plants to ensure that everyone has access to safe drinking water. The authorities intend to establish more ROs in the near future. According to village head Pravesh Kumari, Till now 4 ROs have been installed and more will be set up. Our village has all the facilities. Chief Development Officer CDO Bareilly Jag Pravesh said that the move will save people from waterborne diseases. Now let's move forward to our third daily update which belongs to the category of agreement. Indusind Bank and ADB collaborate to improve financing for supplier chains. Indusind Bank, a private sector bank, announced a partnership with the Asian Development Bank ADB to create a partial guarantee program to support supply chain finance SCF solutions in India. According to a statement issued by the Indusind Bank, the initial investment will be rupees 560 crore. It had signed a partial guarantee agreement with the Asian Development Bank ADB. with the sole intention of promoting scf solutions in india asian development bank will support a number of indusind activities in order to expand its msme portfolio now let's move forward to our fourth daily update which belongs to the category of summits and conferences dubai hosts the first homeopathy international health summit The first World Health Summit for Homeopathic Pride was held in Dubai with the theme Diseases Caused by Climate Change and Global Warming. The summit's goal was to educate and promote a homeopathic medical system, drugs and practices. Burnett Homeopathy Private Limited which deals with homeopathic dilutions, mother tincture, lower trituration tablets, proprietary medicines such as drops, syrups, skin care, hair care and various other homeopathic medicines organize the summit. Now let's move forward to our fifth daily update which belongs to the category of national Central government female staff to get 60 day maternity leave in early child death According to an order issued by the Department of Personnel and Training DOPT all female central government employees will be entitled to 60 days of special maternity leave if their child dies soon after birth The decision was made in light of the potential emotional trauma caused by stillbirth or the death of a child soon after birth which has a far reaching impact on the mother's life according to the statement. According to the order issued to all central government ministries or departments the condition for a child's death soon after the birth can be defined as up to 28 days after birth. Now let's move forward to our daily update number 6 which belongs to the category of sports. Leh in Ladakh all set to host first ever mountain bicycle world cup. 
in ladakh le town is all set to host the first ever mountain bicycle mtb world cup the uci mtb eliminator world cup in india Ladakh police in collaboration with the administration of Union Territory of Ladakh the Cycling Association of India are organizing this international cycling event in Le town According to the official reports of the Ladakh leg of the Eliminator World Cup is a part of a series of 10 professional races held in various cities across the world Now let's move forward to our daily update number 7 which belongs to the category of appointment. Captain BK Tyagi named as new CMD of Shipping Corporation of India. The appointments committee of the cabinet ACC has approved Captain Binesh Kumar Tyagi's appointment as the new chairman and managing director of Shipping Corporation of India Limited SCI. According to an office order issued by the Department of Personnel and Training the appointment is for 5 years from the date of assumption of charge of the post or until the date of a superannuation or until further orders whichever is the earliest Captain Tyagi is currently the director in charge of SCI's liner and passenger services division Now let's move forward to our eighth daily update which belongs to the category of awards Former US President Barack Obama wins Emmy Award. Former US President Barack Obama won a Creative Arts Emmy Award for the best narrator for his work on Netflix's documentary series Our Great National Parks. Higher ground, Barack and Michelle Obama's production company is behind the five-part series which features national parks from around the world. Barack previously received Grammy nominations for his audiobook readings of his memoirs The Audacity of Hope and A Promised Land. Meanwhile, Michelle Obama won her own Grammy in 2020 for reading her audiobook. Now let's move forward to our ninth daily update which belongs to the category of books. Divorce and Democracy: A History of Personal Law in Post-Independence India by Soumya Saxena. At the India International Center, a new book on divorce laws and religions in the post-colonial era was launched. Family law, religion and gender politics in India are discussed in the book. Divorce and Democracy: A History of Personal Law in Post-Independence India. Soumya Saxena, a British Academy fellow at the Faculty of History, University of Cambridge, wrote the book, which discusses the Indian state's difficult dialogue with divorce, which is largely reconciled through religion. Now let's move forward to our tenth and last daily update for today, which belongs to the category of national. Thirty-six national games, mascot and anthem launched by Amit Shah. Union Home Minister Amit Shah unveiled the game's anthem and mascot in Ahmedabad, Gujarat. Union Sports Minister Anurag Thakur and Gujarat Chief Minister Bhupendra Patel were also there. This year, Gujarat will host the 36th National Games from September 29 to October 12, 2022. Meanwhile the games anthem encapsulates the philosophy of judega india jeetega india sukhvinder singh a bollywood playback singer provided the voice the mascot for the national games has been named savaj which means lion in gujarati so with this daily update we have now come to an end of today's episode of daily current affairs updates 13 september 2022 Please stay tuned for more learning. This is your RJ Priyanka signing off. Thank you.